morning. Today is Friday, February 17th, B-Day. I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Melissa Moylan. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. On Saturday, March 11th from 12 to 6 p.m., Student Council will be having a March Madness tournament. Sign-ups are happening now. Anyone who is interested about putting a team together, please email studentgov at kennedycatholic.org. For those who believe they will be conflicting with the SAT exams happening that morning, please email Student Council to inform them so they can move your game back to a more convenient time. Happy birthday to Anna Keller and Emily Corso. Happy early birthday, Jenna Piscotti. A spring sport permission form filled out by your parent may be sent in now. Also, please check to make sure the nurse has your up-to-date physical. You can participate in high school sports unless we have a current physical. Mark your calendars. On Sunday, March 12th at 2 p.m., Kennedy Catholic High School has been invited to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Route 6 in Maypac. So whether you are Irish or not, all are welcome to march and show off some Kennedy pride. If you are interested in marching, please pick up a flyer in the main office today. After school or contact parade organizer Mr. Brian Bruder additional details to follow next week. And now over to This Day in History with Josh. Good morning, I'm Josh Baker with This Day in History. On this day in 1782, the French and British battle in the Indian Ocean after the events of the French-aided American Revolution. In 1801, Thomas Jefferson is elected the third president of the United States after a deadlock in the Electoral College. Lastly, in 1979, China invades Vietnam after the Vietnamese invasion of Cambodia, starting the brief Sino-Vietnamese War. Well, that's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. In world and local news, this season's flu vaccine seems to be working pretty well, weakening the punch of the nasty bug that's going around the country. Preliminary figures suggest the vaccine is 48% effective. That's not bad since the strain that's making most people sick is one of the worst. Experts consider it a good year when a flu vaccine is 50 to 60% effective. The flu vaccine is changed each year based on the best guess at which three or four strains will be the biggest problem for the next season. One of the largest storms to hit Southern California in years is expected to bring heavy rain, flash flooding, and gusty winds today. The storm is likely to dump up to 6 inches of rain at the beaches and up to 10 inches in some coastal mountains. For Northern California, lighter rain falls over the weekend, but another atmospheric river event is expected to move in the first part of the week, creating more challenges for crews at the damaged Oroville Dam. Forecasters predict at least 10 inches of rain will fall into, in the Oroville Lake watershed through next Wednesday. The world's oldest known seabird has a new chick. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said Wisdom's offspring hatched at Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge last week. The Lysen albatross has at least 66, is at least 66 years old and is the world's oldest breeding bird in the world. Bob Payton of Fish and Wildlife says Wisdom has returned to Midway over, for over six decades. He says she has raised at least 30 chicks. Midway is about 1,200 miles northwest of Honolulu and was a site of a pivotal World War II battle. And now over sports with Mirage. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Mirage Patel with your sports. In boys basketball, they have their senior night today at 4.30, so we want to have a big fan section for them. And also, the all-star game for the rec league is there at halftime. Girls basketball will also be having their senior night tonight after the boys, so make sure you stick around for them. In the NBA, the Bulls beat the Celtics 104-103. to Jimmy Butler hit two free throws to seal the victory. I think the refs went on all-star break a little too early. And the Wizards beat the Pacers 111-98. to Otto Porter Jr. had 25 points. In NCAA basketball, Michigan upset number 11, Wisconsin, 64-58. to Mortiz Wagner had 21 points for the Wolverines. And number one, Gonzaga beat San Francisco 96-81. Nigel Williams-Goss had 30 points. In the Gale Rec League, the Curry Canes lost a heartbreaker to Team Young 65-64. to Steve uh, Stephen Smith had 28 points, and Ryan Penny had 22. Jack McBennon had hit the game-winning three. Uh, team Rosser beat Dooley 98-84. to Aiden Spillane had 45 points, and Dennis Wellen had 30. Well, that's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Well, I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Alyssa Moylan. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.